get running hard in the morning. This is Saturday morning. I'm just getting up. Listening on the trusty tram Titan 2A with the Collins filter. I've been over it over and over again, but when the band is crowded, which it is now, it skips running everywhere hard and heavy. That's one, two. He got Detroit locked down. Don't have the clearest sounding station, but he got the band locked down here in Detroit. Gotta admit it, whether you guys like him or not, or like that or not. Like I say, the band's really crowded. He got it locked down, so we're going to turn that down. That ain't what this video was about anyway. Um, I was just sitting here. Um, going to get started on another project. But before I do, it's been a, some questions and some um, misinformation on uh, high voltage um, power supply capacitor banks. Um, first of all, they normally call it a bank because it's a bunch or a group of electrolytic capacitors in a um, high voltage amplifier to get to the proper rated voltage. A sweep tube normally runs on 800 to 1000 volts and normally electrolytic capacitors are rated for 450 volts normally. You know, some will be less, 350, 300. They make low voltage capacitors all the way down to 10 volts. But uh, 450 is the normal. And then they do make 500 volt and 600 volt electrolytics, but the price goes up extensively. Ah, I can't pronounce that word. My autism is kicking in um, extensively. But anyway, um, so since the price, you know, triples, quadruples, to go from 450 to 500 and 500 to 600 volt the common thing is to get you know 400 volt 450 volts and then put as many as you need to get the voltage up in series so if you got a 800 volt amp you know um let's say uh dna maverick 250 or palomar 300a you know runs at 800 volts on the high voltage on the plate you can get away with putting two 450 volts in series because in series you add or multiply the voltage. Um, so, you know, two caps in series would be a 900 volts, which doesn't give you a lot of safety rating. Um, so a lot of these sweep tube amps, you will see three in series, like three 400s or something like that. Uh, you know, 400 volts, you know, a little bit cheaper. And you use three of them, you got 1,200 volts safety rating, and the amp's running at um, 800 volts. Um, but anyway, um, for high power, high voltage linear amplifier, and the most common is like the 300, 3500Z tube. 3500Zs, you know, normally run about uh, 3,000 volts on the plate, right? So in order to um, get a capacitor that can handle the 3,000 volts, they put a multiple group of um, electrolytic capacitors in series um, to get to the voltage rating. Um, this amp here is a the bottom side of the Black Cat JB2000. I just did one on the top side. This is just the bottom side underneath. It's not my doing here. 
Um, this was somebody else's who, who you know, rolled their own. Um, so anyway, um, this um, amp has been recapped. Not my, not again, not by me, not my doing. My mouth ain't working in the morning yet, but I'm getting there. All right, so it has six 100 UF 450 volts caps in series, right? And by the way, before I get to um, the rest of that, um, normally you want somewhere around 25 UFs to 30 UFs for every amp uh, amplifier poles. Um, so if you got an amp meter and this, you know, doing one amp, you want 30 UFs. If you got a, uh, you know, uh, uh, 6 2 3 z that's pulling 5 amps, um, you would want, you know, 120, 150 UFs for the power supply. And you still got to keep the rated voltage, too. So you need the proper amount of UFs per amp and the proper amount of voltage that the power supply runs on. So originally, this... Um, black hat that somebody else recap not me again they use six 100 UF 450 volt um, capacitors electrolytic capacitors in series hence I did this little quick yellow sheet write up and did the math 450 volts times 6 equals 2700 volts you can see my 7 there um the problem is that uh, the black cats with the driver tube, and I said this on the other video, they lowered the voltage so they can put the um, half the voltage on the driver tube. So the black cats with the driver tube ran at 2200 volts, give or take. The black cats without the driver tube, which this is, this is the 1080. The uh, non-driver tube 10 through 80 meter version of the amp, they ran at about 2,700 volts. So this capacitor bank with six 450s in series, you got 2,700 volts worth of capacitance. Well, not capacitance, I'm sorry, voltage capability. And the amp is running at 2,700 volts. So it's running right at the peak. That's like getting a tired is weighted for you know five thousand pounds and you got a car that's loaded with five thousand pounds it may work but that's not good now normally you want about a twenty percent safety factor so you want the rating to be twenty percent above what you're actually running it at so you got a capacitor bank at twenty seven hundred these six uh, capacitors in series so you got 2700 volts and then since they are a hundred UF capacitors with the UFs you divide the capacitance when you go in series the voltage you either multiply or add it, it comes up to the same thing and then with UFs you divide it so you got six in series so you divide the hundred UFs by six and it comes to 16.66 UFs in total for your bank, right? And I said that normally you want um, 25, 30 UFs per amp. And basically, uh, you know, Black Hat JB2000, 2000 watt amp, it runs, you know, uh, 2500, 2700 volts at close to an amp. So 16 UFs is actually not adequate to run this amp properly. You're going to have a lot of um, um, voltage sag when you um, 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 key down and, and hit it hard. And then you have no safety factor with the uh, 2700 volt rating of these capacitors. And before I forget and go to the rest, this is a single oil field capacitor and the reason um, manufacturers didn't put this in it's, it's a better you know than the electrolytic banks um, they're dependable they don't go bad you're dealing with one component instead of uh, six in series and 
you and with banks you got to deal with um, equalizing resistors and all the uh, capacitors have to be the same because if one starts pulling more or less it's going to mess up the whole figures of all of them so with this bank here those are the big green um, equalizing resistors for this amp uh, but with these you don't need equalizing resistors because it's one um, capacitor um, just one with the oil field but it's two reasons why manufacturers for the most part did not use um, oil field capacitors like this one look at the size and the weight you know com this heavy big old thing compared to you know that or you know this over here you know a lot lot smaller a lot less weight you know plus the second reason is again people ask me why do manufacturers do this why don't they do that cost you know that cap probably runs you know about 250 300 you know general area new where modern electric uh, electrolytic caps like this probably cost um, you know 10 each 20 each for some real good ones so you know you can spend a hundred you can get cheap ones for a lot less you know for the total bank whereas this one again 250 300 then you gotta you know where are you gonna put this in a desktop amp you know size and weight so it's very few manufacturers who actually use these and it's usually the premium amps I know Henry did on their um, um, console amplifiers and so did Alpha um, you know Alpha is a very very premium um, built amp and their older Alphas use these oil fields but for the most part manufacturers went with the electrolytic bank like this so anyway this one is inadequate on the, both the voltage and the UFs so he wants me to recap it and he actually bought the caps here which are now 500 volt 220 UFs so the 500 volt times 6 to give you a 3000 volt rating instead of the 2700 volt rating over here and the 220 UF divided by 6 to give you 36.66 UF is my math is right like I say it's early in the morning for me so anyway um, that uh, up the voltage and give you a good safety rating from going from 450 volt caps to 500 volt caps and then he went from uh, 100 UF to 220 UF so you're going from uh, 16 UFs total to 36 UF total so uh, that should make the amp run better with the higher UFs a lot better less voltage sag and you got a much better safety rating you know to run 2700 volts with a 3000 volt safety rating versus you're running it right at the limit with the 450 volt caps and over here is a um high voltage board from another project i got a few uh 500z and other projects going on that i haven't installed yet so this one has uh, 500 uf times six so 3000 volt and it's got 180 UF caps divided by 6. So it's 30 UF. And like I say, you want 25 to 30. So this one I can run on any amp that um, runs about an amp with my 30 UF. And um, I would say, you know, 2,700 volts or less um, on the plate, you know, I can use this one. And by the way, I know I got some people's like, where's the bleeders and all that at? Um, the bleeders and the equalizing resistors over here underneath okay they're there um, also this resistor here is a surge resistor and this one is another one I was playing with or you know got up having put in the amp yet and this is a um, nine cap board from Nomad actually this is Nomad's pride uh, high voltage board for a Pride DX300, but you can use it for whatever you want. You know, uh, you can configure it for a doubler or, you know, a, a, a full way bridge, however you want. You can use, you know, if you know what you're doing. And then this is Nomad's um, 
general purpose high voltage board that has a space for nine caps. So if you install all nine um, of caps and you use four, 450 volt, uh, that would be like a 4,050 volt rating, I think. But anyway, I didn't need that rating for this one. I needed um, probably around 3,200, 3,300 volt rating. So I used only eight and I bypassed this one. So this capacitor bank here is rated for 3600 volts to 450 in it times eight. And over here, you divide. And that's one of the reasons I made this video because somebody was saying, um, hey, they want a, a, a capacitor bank with eight or nine of them in there instead of the six because they wanted to, uh, more UFs. No. When you put more caps in there, it divides the UFs um, by how many you got in there. So 330 divided by 8 on this one is 41.25 UF. So in this amp, I can you know put it in any amp that runs about 3,300 volts or less. And I could probably run an amp and a half or so, give or take, um, with the UFs for this um uh, PC board bank here and those big white resistors are uh, AC surge limiters there on the AC side before it goes into the diode many many ways to do that and then underneath again these are your um, bleeder resistors and your equalizing resistors they do two jobs in one they both bleed off all that capacitors and they equalize the capacitor bank because you want these all running the same voltage, you know, going having the same voltage to them. You don't want one, one pulling, you know, more than another because then you're going to have problems with that. So anyway, that's it for this one, I think. You know, capacitor bank because you have a bank. You have a bunch. You have a, a, a bunch of capacitors to get the voltage up as opposed to a single which would look like this right and again nobody who does that because of the cost involved and uh be careful of your voltage know what your amp runs at as far as the voltage and keep a, a 20 percent safety margin is good and then generally um uh, amp runs at about one amp 30 us per amp okay Okay, I think I covered everything. That's for this. it for this one. This is the JB2000. Underneath, that's the diode board. And they used to use equalizing resistors for diodes back in the day. Diodes weren't that equal. But nowadays, with modern silicone diodes, they are manufactured to such a close tolerance that they're equal already and, and you basically do not need equalizing resistors on the diode bank anymore uh, what most people do is they get rid of the, the resistors and they just put in um, I would say 25 to 40 percent more voltage rating for the diode so if you're running uh, 2700 volts on the diodes you would uh, put in a bank that would be rated for about um, 4,000 volts or more or something like that um, that way uh, the diodes aren't at their maximum um, ratings too um, and this is the amp very basic you know uh, Black Cat JB2000 they always had these do not remove pieces of wood that helps hold the frame together and then your terminal block um, they run on 110 220 he had a circuit breaker back here that could also be used for the power switch. Just a very, very basic amp. But anyway, I've talked enough. That's it for this one. Bye.